all done. This is what we got going on. It's starting to rain, so I gotta take that tarp, throw back over the engine. Um, and we got the 68. My goal with this was to fix it up, sell it, so that I can take half the money and fix the CUDA that's back in the back back there. This one might be gone soon also. And here's my poor rotted CUDA. Sitting all happy in its happy little home. What I would like to do is make this a sandblasting booth and a, like a spray booth also somehow. However, this is on an easement to the neighbor's yard, which he's not too happy about, but it is what it is. So legally, I guess we cannot put concrete in here. And so, let me flip this over so you can see me instead of my hand talking. <laughs> and, uh, but what I wanna do is put, um, I guess we can put like blocks in here and so I'll probably do that and what I would like to do also is to extend this I don't know what you can see because I can't see <laughs> my screen but I'd like to extend this to at least that metal stake in the ground and then let me flip this over again there's a metal stake right there I would like to extend this from here to back there and then enclose all of this and make put a, a roll-up garage door right there. That way I can get two cars in here and then I can have a workspace that's out of the weather, another one. So I got leaves that come through here and so that creates chaos so I got to figure that out. This RV shed was about to fall over but I replaced it about two summers ago. All of them posts. Yeah check this out. Back here this post is the original post. I threw an extra one in uh, but what That's an electrical outlet right there. But that is not attached to the ground. I had three of them. They threw a lag bolt through there, which is probably the only thing that kept the thing upright. We moved in here not too long ago. And there was another one there. So they're only... And then they took this other post and they stuck it on top of the carport so it, it ended right there but this extended out you see right there that's where another pole came straight down on the back of a woodshed that was right here and i cut the woodshed part out so that it could go you know, so I'd have all this room through here. So anyway, just looking back, might be easier to explain it this way. But yeah, there was, well, where is it? Right there. I'll focus because of my finger. But if you draw a line straight down, that's where the woodshed was. And then so I took all this out so that I could put two cars in here. Now I just need to go through and fix all of this. But one thing at a time. Yeah, these are the trunk lids for the 68 Coronet. It's all rotted big time. This one, the bottom of the trunk lid, or the hood. It's toast. Might just make these into wall art. The outsides are real nice, unless I could find new skins for the bottom. 
Anyway, that's what I got going on today. Now I guess I'm just rambling, so I guess it's time to go. Mm -hmm.